everybody. I just got back from a writer's conference in Philadelphia, so I'm catching up. I'm a bit late today on posting my blog post for this week, but I do want to give you a book review as we get ready to send our kids back to school. This is Every Child Can Succeed by Cynthia Ulrich Tobias. It's been on the shelves for quite a while. Um, if those of you who are parents are looking to help your child succeed in the classroom, I do recommend this book. It has a lot of great material about discerning your child's learning style to help them succeed in the classroom. And what I like about the book is that it's not about making excuses for your child, but it does give you steps toward helping identify your child's learning style and work with the teacher to augment what the teacher's already doing and make it work for your child. There are charts involved, um, action plans, steps, questions. There's even an appendix to help you determine which learning style your child has. And it has a way of you communicating with your teacher. That's one of the other appendices in this book to communicate with the teacher in an effective way to help your child learn. So this is a really wonderful esteeming approach to helping every child do their best in school. Now there is one chapter in the book that I do kind of disagree with, and you have to understand this is not a uh, licensed professional or someone who's taken psychology as a major in college. So she did write a chapter on ADD that's a little bit founded in personal opinion more than fact. Um, and I, uh, I understand her concern about over-diagnosing ADD. However, it is actually a real diagnosis. It's one of the things that I specialize in. So I don't want anybody to read this book and assume that every diagnosis can be re refuted and dismissed. There are diagnoses of ADHD which do benefit from medication and can help children be very successful in school and college. Um, if it's a moderate to extreme form of attention deficit disorder with or without hyperactivity, sometimes that really does benefit from, vacation, from medication and children can learn better and develop better skills while they're in school and become able to continue to implement those study skills and organizational skills as adults. So it can be very helpful for certain kids. But, you know, her under, I understand her concern about overdiagnosis, and certainly you do want to get second opinions and verify whether your child actually does have attention deficit disorder. And now, since this book is a little bit older, we do have a lot more information available to parents about attention deficit disorder and what is helpful and um, ways to help your child um, really, really be clear about what your child has. So um, that would be my only concern about the book. Otherwise, she does a fantastic job of covering everything that a parent needs to know as you get ready for school and you go to your open houses at school and want to con communicate with your parents to m establish a relationship with a teacher as an ally. And I like that too because I come from a family of teachers and I have been a teacher and I love the concept of working with a teacher as your partner to help your child. You don't want to create an enmity situation with your teacher, but you do want to advocate for your child and um, make sure that your child's best interests are being served in the school. So you can do that as a team member with your teacher and make a friend with the teacher and be willing to help out in the classroom if you have time. But in the very, very least, you do want to make sure you clearly communicate what your child needs with your teacher and communicate with the administrators and with the school. And that's a fantastic way to start your school year. So for all of you who are parents or grandparents and are looking for ways to support your children and grandchildren, getting them back to school, this is a great way of knowing everything that you need to do to start out in that process. So that's what I recommend. And I will be posting the link to the Amazon site for this book on my website this week. And I hope that all of you are enjoying a wonderful end to your summer this year. 
and that you're going to look forward to having a great school year as you start into the fall. Some states start earlier than others. I believe Florida starts here in the next couple of weeks. So um, happy shopping and happy sending those kids off to uh, their classrooms, to the wonderful teachers who work so hard to take good care of them. So for teachers and students and parents and grandparents, I wish you a wonderful start to your school year. And as always, be encouraged. Until next time, have a great week. Bye-bye.